Today we're going to talk about servicing sealed bearings. How do you grease them? Do you grease them? How much grease do you put in them? What about if they locked up? Can you free them up, make them work again? Of course you can. Let me show you. So here we have a sealed bearing that I cut apart to show you guys all the workings. So you'll have a seal generally on both sides and it's just a rubber seal. You can see coated in, it's actually a piece of metal. It's just coated in rubber and you can see your races. So this is our inner race. This is our outer race. Here's our ball bearings. And then the thing that holds all the ball bearings is called the cage and it just spaces all those ball bearings evenly. Otherwise they'd want to bunch up on one side and that's actually how to get them in. You know, you can bunch them up to one side without the cage and then you can actually take it all apart. I won't show you guys that, but kind of cool just to see all the workings inside, but you can see how much space there is in there for grease. And we're going to actually show you how to re-grease them, but the seal just pops out. It actually is stationary with the outer race and there's a little seal the rubs just right you can actually see the line right there right on the inner race so i got some brand new ones some locked up ones some gritty ones just an old one i'll show you first of all what you want to use is a pick um usually a right angle regular pick you go on the inside but you could also use a flat screwdriver but you don't actually want to pry right here you actually want to try to pry from the inside as far up as you can so i'm going to get it in there and then i'm going to pry so I'm actually using the pick tip to actually pry more up there. Because if you pry right on this edge, you're actually going to slightly bend it sometimes. You can flatten it back out. There is a thing I want to show you actually how much grease you actually put in these. Because a lot of people put way too much. Um, I think they come from the factory sometimes without enough. But when people re-grease them, they put way too much. So here we have a... Uh, I already popped this one off. This is an old bearing but you can actually see what happens to the grease. If you don't know what grease is, well, you know what grease is, but what it really is, all grease is, is oil with a thickener. Um, and the thickener can be as simple as clay. So just oil mixed with clay. And what happens is eventually the oil runs out and leaves behind just the thickener. And then that's usually what causes these bearings to fail is because there's no oil left. You're just running on a thickening agent. And so like this one, you wouldn't want to run this. This is this is gone. So we can clean it out pretty easily just by popping off, pop off the inside, pop off the outside. Just come on the inside. Be careful. Try to pop it up. There we go. This one has a plastic cage. Uh, so you can't see much on this side. But this is all the grease that's really in there. Pop that out. Clean it out. Spray through it. And... What we're used to do that is usually something like brake cleaner. I like to use carburetor cleaner, which is acetone. And just spray through there. That'll dissolve all the grease. You can even use WD-40. Um, that'll sit there. That'll dissolve all old grease. I'll just run it around, flush it out, and we can pack it with new grease. This one's completely locked up. So, pretty easy. Just clean off some of this d dirt. We come in here, try to pry up. There we go. And all that's left in there is the thickener for the grease. This right here. I don't see any rust. I just see maybe some dirt in there. So some dirt got in there with the uh, the thickener, but that is completely locked up. Let's remove both sides. Let's, uh, there's a, now that's, it might be a little rust right there. Rust is what kills these when there's, all the grease is gone. So, will not move. I mean, that thing is locked up solid. Take some acetone. Let that soak for a second. Okay, took me a second. Use the air compressor, kind of blew it out. But, perfectly dry and it sounds, actually sounds really good. You can hear it but it doesn't sound bad and I don't feel any grit. So this one would grease up actually really good. This one, you know, of course is bad, the pulley, but the bearing itself, I could grease this up and it would live. I bet you it'd live as long as it did originally. You might be tempted, um, and I've seen people like pack these where they want to pack them completely, completely full. 
you actually don't really want to pack them more than maybe 25% uh, full. 25% should be more than adequate. And why is that? That's because if you pack it completely full, the bearing actually has nowhere to go. If you look right here, you can see the path of the bearing. Is it shooting around? You don't want that this entire center thing where it's moving. Even though this is a free space in between here and here, you don't want grease there because this is just racing around. And if it has to plow through grease, it's going to overheat. So you have the area right there on this one, maybe about a 16th of an inch. And then above the bearing surface right up here, about a 16th of an inch down below, uh, maybe that amount. That's how much grease, which would be about 25%. You, If you pack this completely full, I've seen guys pack them completely full, put both caps back on, you're going to overheat your bearing. It's going to blow out. It's going to disintegrate itself, or you're just going to make a grease mess everywhere. So about 25% max, somewhere in there um, is where I kind of shoot for. So that one, I just kind of packed it on there. You don't need to worry about packing it in between all the balls. It already does it. If you get it in between the little grooves, oops, I put it in old grease. If you get it in between the grooves uh, of the cage, it automatically would just run into it. So this is as extensive as re-greasing a sealed bearing is. That's all you need to do. It'll work its way right in there. You can rotate it around a couple times if you want. That's it. That's re-greasing it. Put the ca cages back on after you clean them up since they have dirt all. So this one kind of has a unique cage. So let me show you how much grease to put in something like this. Um, don't have any room on the other side because of the cage, but just pack it in between those grooves. And that is about it. That is ample grease for this bearing. And you can see it just smears it around. It's already around all the balls. No problem. Tuck it in if you want. It'll distribute itself the first time it heats up. Just get a little bit in there. You don't need to worry about packing the things every nook and cranny. It doesn't matter. Grease compatibility issues. Absolutely. Who knows what kind of... The problem is nobody ever tells you what kind of grease they put in them. Um, like this is some sort of clear... I've never bought grease that looks like this. Just clear. I don't even know where you get that. Who knows what that is? It's probably just a basic lithium grease. Um, not even a lithium complex because lithium grease is the cheapest. But who knows? The easiest thing to do, if in doubt, is just clean it all out put your own grease in there but that shows you how much from the factory they put just a little bit on this side let's look on this side there's gonna be more they probably applied it from this side yeah so about that much which is about what I said about 25% generally the grease I use just for everything is a lithium complex um, you can see lithium complex base uh, this one is also a lithium complex and the annoying thing is is just because they're the exact same type of grease doesn't mean they even look remotely the same. So, you put whatever color food coloring you want in it, I guess. But lithium complex, uh, from what I can find out, it seems that most of the bearings that you buy have lithium complex grease in them, unless they're super cheap, and then they might just have lithium grease in them versus complex, just lithium soap as a thickener. If that all wants to make sense to you, rabbit hole, you don't want to jump down. Can I just water the lawn without being interrupted? You gotta water you too?